when you were little queens You dreamt of creeping on the scene But I'm back to block your way Admit it, bitch, you just got slayed You just got slayed Slayed You just got slayed Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I hated yesterday uh, recording, so now it's the other day. Great, right? But that means I can talk about the whole thing again, and now I'm less nervous. I didn't record in so long, and I also can do my makeup again, because yesterday, when I filmed the intro, my makeup was already done, so now we're going to do that again. Also, I thought that the whole hair clippy thing was, like, cute. But now that it's on my head, I'm like, I don't know. Probably not that cute. You know what? Maybe I should put on the light. Let's see how that looks. Okay, let's see it. It's fine, I guess. I, I don't know. I really was expecting to hate that. Also, I have, I, have a, I have a ring light. I have a ring light, yes. I thought, you know what, I am interesting and I'm going to do this professionally and I'm going to order a 10 buck ring light from Amazon because I am like that, I don't know. Also, I could have bought a used one. I bet there's a lot of people like me. Who get ring lights and then they're like, well, this is fucking dumb. I am a joke. Why did I get one? I could have bought food for this, but uh, it is what it is. It is here and it comes out once a year so that I can uh, look like a clown in better light lighting. So I am currently using, you know what? No one cares about this, but the la la Laurel... Laurel. <laughs> Stop! It's not going to be one of those days. Remember the Laurel and the anything? Okay, you know what? This is not what I'm here for. But today I wanted to talk about something else. But still, the l you know what? No. If you want to shout out, pay me, bitch. Okay. Period. So, if you want to shout out, you have to pay me. I'm not doing this. So, the thing that I actually wanted to talk about is that this spreads like shit because I didn't do moisturizing shit I don't know is this my skin color even I don't know okay uh, I wanted to talk about the trends thing again initially uh, which I did yesterday and I hated every second of it so I'm doing it again today and yeah so the trends thing basically last time I made a, an hour-long video and this is my cat he looks so tortured. I'm like, sorry. Oh my god. He always... Oh, okay. But like, we kind of had the same back for a second. Did you see that? I'm like... You know what I mean? Oh my god! I would like to forget that this exists and just sits on my channel for everyone to see, but it is there. You could watch it, but I'm only 10% of the time talking about the topic, and there's several people who watch the entirety of it, which is honestly baffling to me because it was... It was cringe. I'm going to say it. I do a lot of cringe stuff on my channel, but a lot of it I can cringe at myself too and find it funny. But I think when I uploaded this, I actually took myself seriously and I was like, I, I don't know, the delusion of it all. The crackerness of it all. Oh my god. Okay, next I always do... Where the fuck? Okay. Next, I'd always do the eyes because eyes are the window of the... Yeah, I don't give a shit. I'm not going to say it. Penis. I would do orange because an orange eye is a look and I feel like no one likes orange, but I am going to give orange a try. You know what? I feel... Okay, this is... Okay, this is fine. I feel like it could have spread a little more, but... um. Yeah, period. Okay, the trans thing, back to the topic. So, the video was really messy, and a lot of things have happened since. I said that I was looking for a therapist, I think, last time. And I did look for a therapist. Uh, 
I have been looking for a therapist before already, I think, and I didn't find one. And it has been a six month search for a therapist right now. And I love that. So if you are in desperate need for help, don't even start because it's going to take you way too long. But you know what? No, um, I'm joking. Okay, obviously, I'm joking. Get help. If you want help, you need help. You know what? If you're watching this, you might need help. So maybe call a therapist. I don't know. But I I have one and wow, I don't know what I'm doing. You're going to look at this and you actually think that you're going to leave this video with even the slightest bit of like knowledge, but you won't. So uh, basically six months of looking for a therapist. I've already given up because everyone either did not even answer the phone. They uh, were rude on the phone because they were full and they were a little arrogant because they were like, you know what? I have so many people who want to come. I don't need you. So this is kind of the energy that I got from the therapist hunt. But after like forever, you know, last week or two weeks ago, finally a woman picked up, you know, she picked up her telephone of her, what's the name? The place, the therapy place. Okay. And she was quite nice. Uh, because I have left a message on her answering machine and I was like, you know what? She's not going to hear this. She didn't pick up her phone three calls now and I'm just going to talk on the answering machine and let's see if she gets it and Then I noticed that I called on the wrong day So I called the next day because therapists have like 30 minutes a week that they will answer the phone 30 minutes a week or an hour a week when they like have a half an hour uh, phone time uh, on two different days of the week. But usually it's two days or one day. So you have half an hour or an hour a week as a time window to uh, get on the line with the therapist. If the line is occupied already, you will not get your call. And I think that is scary because what if you need help? But I don't know. I get it. When you have way too many people uh, who are coming to you already and you can't take any more people because they're just over occupied, then I don't know. I guess this is fine. You're off the hook. But uh, girl, some of us need help, period. But I'm glad she answered. She was so nice. She's pretty quirky. She's got colored hair and she's pretty young. Back to the topic. I saw the woman. She was like, you know what? Why are you coming here? What are your pro 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 Actually, yes. What are your pronouns? I sat down and the second that I sat down, she was like, so which name and pronouns would you like to be referred to as? I don't know. And I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. I'm being taken seriously. Sorry. Uh, I'm being taken seriously. And I really, I don't know. I felt, why is this, by the way, this is not actually covering anything I feel like, but I never do light makeup. I always walk around like a hooker, which honestly is a sleigh. She was like, which pronouns would you like to be, um, would you like to have? And I was like, well, I don't know. On the internet, I always go as, uh, she or they, because I feel like, I don't know, in the internet you can do this, but in real life people... Uh, are boomers and they don't even know what pronouns are if you'd ask them so I think it's pretty unrealistic to for me to expect that people will call me my wanted pronouns in real life but I do experience quite a lot of gender euphoria uh, when people say she in real life and then when I'm with someone and they correct them that I am a he I just feel that all of the wind is taken out from my sails and my boat is sinking. So, uh, I don't know. First, gender euphoria from being called she. And then gender dysphoria when they call me a he again after they've been corrected, which makes me want to commit co toaster strudel. So, that... Okay, you know what? This might still be going somewhere. I don't know. This... Why? Okay. If you want... If you know a palette that covers, tell me, period. Because I'm using the... You know what? You're not getting a shout out, even if you're shit, period. Fast forward, this is going way too long. I told her, my pronouns, please. 
Um, I don't... Okay, actually, I do... I know I said that I experience gender euphoria when people uh, say she, but I am pretty unsure in real life uh, what... Because it feels weird, you know? Never... People never call you she, and now you like it, and you don't know what to do with it, and it's feeling pretty weird because you're not used to it. <clears throat> so I said, I don't know. I honestly don't know what I would like to be referred to as. Please, actually, don't refer to me at all. And she was like, you know what? I'm just going to say, I'm just going to you, you, and I'm not, I'm trying to get around that as gracefully as I can. And then I told her my nickname which is a little bit more, you know, a little bit more gender neutral. I don't think that I will be going the whole non-binary thing, but I think for now it's a quite good uh, way around for when you're unsure. So if you try different things, you might know. So I was like, please, let's go around this. And she, yeah, she calls me by the nickname which my name is Anton, and my nickname is Anto, which sounds quite more non-binary, at least when you're used to the name, I don't know, uh, Germany and stuff. Kind of weird. Did I ever see say my name on the channel? I don't think I did. I don't think I said the channel name either, but that's not going to happen today. I'm one thing at a time. Okay, so, uh, also, the way I'm talking about this, just because I made this one messy video, and I'm not going to delete it because I'm not a quitter. Uh, that one manic episode that I had that day, just, I don't know, thank me for it. Because yeah, now you're part of the inner circle and I'm going to share private stuff with you. Because I take my channel seriously. Because you know what, this eyeshadow is giving me not wanting to liver writers. Oh, this is sparkly. Wait, wait a minute. I know I'm using the other one. I don't see any difference at all. This is clown shit. So we got around that. She asked me a lot of general things and I was like, okay, I have OCD. I have um, probably gender dysphoria. I, um, which I already told her at the, on the phone, but now I was like, you know, coming back to the topic, which also this wasn't the per se the first therapy session it was more of like a get to know uh uh if she you know a little chat to see if she will put me on her patient list patient list is that the word i don't know wait am i confused you know what i have every excuse english is not my native language you just got slain uh so i told her the things and she was like yeah, well, there's a few options. What are your goals in the therapy? And I was like, girl, girl, I have no idea. I have no idea. You know what? Actually, I have quite a few ideas. Let me tell you. I'm going to use blue from the, for the inner corner. It's going to look hopefully good. I was talking to her about my goals. Yes, exactly. I'm really trying not to lose the point, but the chronic ADHD in me, which also someone commented on the last trans video, the, a the ADHD in this one. Girl. I don't know if I have ADHD. I don't want to put this on the list as well. I have like 60 mental things going on at the same time while trying to study, while trying to keep a good workout schedule, which, which is impossible. But this is not turning out the way I wanted it. You know what? With eyeliner, it always looks good. We're just going to use more eyeshadow. This is perfect. You know well, Okay. So I was talking about the goals and I told her... Well, I was thinking about hormones because hormones, you know, estrogen could make my gender dysphoria go away because I am very dysphoric about my um, facial features, my hairline, which is like well hidden under the clippings. But like you see how far it up goes up. Holy fuck. You know what? You're going to stay down there. I don't know. Um, which, of course... Uh, uh, I'm dysphoric about, you know, little, little things. I have to shave every day twice because, I don't know, the whole sheer thing of growing a beard, I know, it gives me panic. And if I forget to shave and then leave the house, girl, my day is going to be ruined. I'm going to feel very bad. Uh, I'm also, uh, 
very much hating the other uh, body hair stuff. Like, I'm very hairy, of course, testosterone. She said, Shrek, does Shrek have hair? Hormones. I was like, hormones might be a thing that make my dysphoria go away. I don't have bottom dysphoria, by the way, uh, which kind of stopped me from reaching out for help a long time because I was like, well, wouldn't I want to have a pussy if I was transgender? And I was like, I don't want a pussy. So that stopped me. But then I noticed that not everyone has that when I started reading on Reddit and talking to people and a lot of different things. <clears throat> the makeup. Okay, you know what? We're just going to do a last dibble dabble. I know, I feel like if I would look in the mirror, it would not look as... You know what? Is this better? Oh, it looks way more colorful. We're still going to leave the light on. You know what? A little less. So that counts. I don't know. Uh, now I would do the eyeliner, which uh, definitely not my favorite part of the whole thing. But you know what? I am... Um, it is what it is. So, I was thinking about the hormones, gender dysphoria, and I feel very flat because I obviously have no hips and ass, and I was thinking about the boob situation. I feel like, uh, I don't know, I always like small boobs more. I have a lot of gender envy, and when I see girls and they have a nice body, I'm like, damn, give me that. Give me that. But of course they won't. I won't just snatch and have it for myself and then I am woman. Like Dodger Cat said in that song. Doja, not Do Okay. Trying to <laughs> focus on the point is so hard with eyeliner as well. So I also want... Okay, the things... The things that I want from the hormones, if I would take the hormones, because I'm unsure about that, would be... Uh, different fat, uh, in the body, you know, that the fat goes to other places. My hairiness changing, like, being, becoming less. Being protected, other finger, being protected from the whole hair loss thing. Because you probably won't be getting, like, male pattern balding, which I am terrified of. Because hair is, like, everything to me. And I am unhealthily obsessed with my hair. What next? The beard thing is really bothering me, but that probably won't be changed by the hormones. And a thing that is... I feel like I'm pretty dead inside most of the time. I can't remember the last time that I cried. And of course, you don't want to be sad. But I feel like I'm very stiff and have no feelings in me sometimes and a lot of people describe that that will go away with the hormones and I I don't know I see no I, I don't see anything the hormones do that I don't like like of course the uh the health risk stuff but if you get regularly checked I think that's not as big of a deal um I hate the eyeshadow I'm not going to do it again you know what there's like I could have used more colors now, so, uh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, no, why, oh my god, that's too much, I'm so sorry, wait, this is cute, isn't it, wait, I feel like this is kind of, I don't know, it only looks good from some angles. What? Okay. Oh, why does it burn? Okay, you know what? The other eye, I don't care. Um, what was I talking about? I'm terrible. I'm so sorry. But it's been 23 minutes. Am I going to edit this even? I don't know. I want to be... So yeah, all of the things that the hormones will change, I kind of like. And there's different options, too. So there's the pills that you can take. By the way, I live in Germany, so the things here are very different. I did not make research in the American field because all of the things wouldn't be 
not all of the, not all of the things would be available to me so i would probably like to research the things that are and you can either take pills gel or there's band-aids like for estrogen all of the things and so far the pills seem to be bad for the liver and kind of outdated so i'm like you know what probably not going to be the pills the gel seems to not do that or be less detrimental and did i say gel yeah the gel and what was the other one the pills the gel and the oh yeah the band-aids the band-aids but i feel like the band-aids would be annoying because with the gel you just put it on your arms you rub and then it is gone after a while but the band-aids you have to wear for the entire day and sometimes i don't know sometimes i like showering also i swim a lot in my free time so where is that going like can i do that with those will it come off am i going to give everyone at the public pool hrt hormone replacement therapy not a disease um sounds like a disease but everything every acronym sounds like that so Holy fuck, this burns, and I feel like my eyes are eating the eyeliner, a little snack. So, um, those are the different options. There used to be syringes, I'm sorry, there used to be syringes, uh, but now they're not being produced anymore because the, I don't know, people just weren't interested, which I am pretty glad that this option is not uh, available to me anymore because it's syringes sounds a little painful i don't know i don't feel like i would like to do that um oh god not the second one the second one is worse oh, the, oh god. why is it kissing this can still be good this can still be good girl eat my ass oh my god i wait it's good what wait a damn minute wait a damn minute you know what? Maybe just from afar and because the window is so close. I'm so small. But why is my mouth watering so much? Period. Holy shit. Why is this so stressful? I hate eyeliner. I wish it would always just be done and over with. I don't know. I feel like the eye look is okay. The left one is kind of worse than the right one, which I did not expect at all. Maybe we can just... I hate with eyeliner that you always... You know, they're never twins. They're always siblings. And you have to make them look more alike. And you have to go crazy, crazy lengths to achieve that. You know what? I'm scared. We're done. We're done with that. So is that... Are the eyes good? You know what? Let's take off the thing. I can feel myself crying already. Wait, where are the... Don't I have, like, a little... You know what? Where are the Q-tips? Okay, let's see. Oh, God. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What? Why did I... Re Why did I decide to record this? This is so dumb. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. I have to cry even more now. I don't know. Every time I do makeup. The thing is, I might want to do the HRT thing. That would be pretty cute. And my options seem to be... Okay, if I had to make a choice now about the options, I would do the gel. Because the gel seems like very... Uh, I don't know. It seems like the easiest option, the healthiest option. And if you know more about these things, then I would love to hear about that anything if someone is trans and is watching that which i hope i hope then i don't know let me know about you let me know the options uh i'm there i am interested to learn more about this and yeah and i've also asked reddit and i am anywhere and everywhere on the internet but oh, i forgot something wait oh okay i'm anywhere and by the way this product is stupid and i don't think it does anything so let's see uh, i am anywhere and everywhere on the internet and i 
don't know how to look for better sources. Did it do anything? Also, I have big brows. That is something that I like, but I feel like if beauty standards were different, then I would be quite unhappy with my brows. But like, let's be glad that this is... You know what? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. I paid like five bucks for this. This is ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So I experienced the gender euphoria and the dysphoria. I would like to learn more things. I'm not I'm not very sure about the transition thing. Uh, and I've only had my first session at the therapist. But I feel like I do want to do the hormone stuff. Because, I don't know, I've been experimenting with like the way I look and... I don't shop in the men's section anymore, and I'm pretty scared, to be honest, of the men's bathroom. I hate it there. Even if I wear something very casual that day, I am always fearing for my life, and I don't want to go in there at all, uh, which is, yeah, I don't know. There's, like, small little things that should probably, like, I don't know, I feel like there's been warning signs. I don't, this doesn't come out of nowhere to you, does it, the trans thing? Because, I don't know, my mom was kind of surprised and I was like, Mom? Mom? Can you, did you, what, have you not lived with me? Ever? I don't know, this person lives with me. And I'm not going to magically have a new face and stuff and what, bye, and whatever. But also I probably won't be doing, like, uh, surgery ever for anything because it kind of scares me. might change because, I don't know. But, I don't know. I feel like, you know what, one thing at a time, one thing at a time, I don't know. So, I feel like hormones and makeup are quite alike. Because things, small things can make a lot and make a big change. And maybe I would like that because, I don't know, all of my friends have been calling me Anto instead of Anton. And that, I don't know, that made a big, big happy that made big happy for me, period. <sighs> also, this is going to stay on my lashes for like two days now. And I'm going to hate every second with it. And it's not going to go away. Fuck waterproof mascara. Holy shit, this didn't do anything. Also, I feel like I'm crying the eyeliner out again. I don't know. So... Yeah, uh, let me know your thoughts. I feel like this has been a little all over the place, but it's been shorter. I've actually been talking about the topic. I hope you like the makeup stuff because I, I don't know, I like makeup. I should probably try something new because my makeup thing didn't evolve ever since I started, but... Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Jesus, please. Jesus. Oh my God, okay. Holy fuck. I don't know, I feel like it's kind of cute. Where is the lip gloss? So, by the way, makeup is so expensive. I should... Am I allowed to say this? I should start chop lifting. Again. <laughs> I... Don't chop lift, okay? Oh my god, it's almost empty. Why? What am I going to eat? Also, it smells so good and it tastes better. What the fuck? Holy shit, this is so cool. Look at this. Who brought the shiny into the lip? Mm -hmm. Who brought the shiny into the lip? Okay, period. I'm so proud. I feel like, I don't know. Look at me. I don't know. I feel so much more like me and so much more comfortable. Let's take these out. I fucking hate these. I like these, but like when I'm actually doing a hairstyle and not for like keeping my hair out of the... You know what? Also, they're cute. My boyfriend got me these. If your boyfriend doesn't get you uh, lashes out of the girl section, girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ow! Ow! Holy fuck! The knots. Okay. Ah! Okay. Why did this hurt so much more than it should have? Okay. So, also I'm very happy with my hair cut. 
lovely and the lip gloss in it. And I, I don't know. I feel. I don't know. <laughs> don't let. Oh. Come on, get in there. Okay. With the earrings too. Oh my god, I also love earrings. I have so many already. I feel like I should get more. If you have ideas for more, tell me. Because I don't know. I'm just oh, I love this. Oh ooh. Ooh, put the slate in the pussy. Mm, okay. Uh yes. I don't know. Hope you enjoyed it. And I feel like I forgot something, but maybe Maybe it is like that sometimes. Also, sometimes I get hate comments. Completely unrelated, but actually, okay, related to YouTube, but I, okay, this reflects, I hate this. I get hate comments, and last week I got a Bible verse in my comment section, like, a man shall not wear the garments of a woman and reverse, and vice versa. But I was like, Yes, they should. And then I hit the user from the channel. So that person probably answered again and they think that anyone on this planet will be able to read it. But you were hidden. You just got slayed, okay? You just got slayed. Deal with it. So, uh, I don't know. The thought of people commenting something, like putting effort into it, and then me just deleting it, or even better, hiding it so that when they do it again, it will just be not there for anyone and I won't even know about it. So funny to me. I love that so much and you should do that too because someone on TikTok told me, oh my god, you really think that censorship is the way you're performing? Why would you censor your profile? And I'm like, well, I'm keeping the negativity out of my life. And if you want to keep the negativity out of your life, you are very much entitled to do so. Wait, I didn't even do that. You know what? I didn't do the highlighter. I'm so sorry. Wait, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you know what? And... Holy shit. How can I be so careless? How can I be so careless? Holy fuck. Ah! Oh my god, okay. Imagine being so careless. I couldn't. I could never. Holy shit. Why is this so good? And the mirror never sparkles this much. Wait, maybe the right side more. Oh, slay. Ooh! Period. So, you've heard me, okay? And you're entitled to keep everything positive around you and if people want to invade your personal space, just slay them and get in touch with the therapist if you need it. I love you. Mm. Slayed. You just got slayed. Slayed. You just got slayed.